this is the falling paint chips. We're talking about total lack of services. And from the view of this apartment, there is no way Ms. Green went and spent, and her daughter even said on tape, she's had this furniture here since she's been here. So the 20 some thousand dollars that's missing with Mitchell now, right, no. now. But I have the paper stating whose name is in it, on it. Hosea Mitchell or whatever her name is. Hosea Mitchell. Yeah. Now, when you went to the bank, they mentioned something. Could you tell us that from your own words, please, about what happened, about, she, uh, about her saying that the daughter was deceased and that's why she, how she got her name on the bank account? Oh, I'm the only child. I was living on Classen Avenue. I'm quite sure I lived there at least eight or nine years, but I can prove I'm not moving from place to place. But what I understand, my mother had nobody. She said she sent me the post office thing for me to sign. I know what apartment I was in, and she sent them. She would have got them back or something like that. She has no evidence or nothing like that. Okay. Now, um... What happened when you went for that interview with Victoria Cruz in the Inspector General's office again, please? Concerning in what way? Concerning the check, I mean the, the, the stolen money or the missing money. Oh, they just told me they were going to take care of it and not talk to nobody and this and that and other. How much money did she tell you that was... that? She told me it was 20000 The only thing time she contacted me is she wanted to know what's going on. Okay. I have no help from them at all. And, and you know Mitchell recently got fired. No, I heard it was a rumor. No, she's, she's been terminated from housing, and she's still on tenant patrol downstairs. Now, why don't you tell us about that situation that you had mentioned before, in your own words, not what I thought I heard, about her hitting your niece that was coming in the building and stuff oh, while she was on tenant patrol. My daughter. Oh, your daughter. That's pregnant. Uh huh. Was coming in the building. Uh huh. And she had hurt. My son, if he want to come in the building, she won't even open the door for him or nothing like that. Claim she never know who he is. But he'll be around tomorrow. Okay. We always try to check on mom. Did she hit your daughter? Yeah. She was pregnant, and Mitchell had physical contact with her that was no. inappropriate. Well, but I understand. I'm not worrying about that. I'm worrying about my mother's money. Yes, but and right now my mother has a light bill, which. I got in touch with uh, the welfare mm -hmm. on Jamaica Avenue or something, which I guess is a reply. They're getting ready to cut her lights off. And also, the man was out here. She has no Medicaid. She has no home attendant. Right. And that's, no is, is that because... All this goes with the thing, but they put a freeze on everything on my mother's. And that was done by the inspector general's office? I don't know what was done by, but it has something to do with this case with her money being missing. Right, and and it um, was Ozia Mitchell attempting to become a representative payee with Social Security and with the missing money. That's why her Medicare and Medicaid, all that is missing, and she can't get a home attendant. I understand it has something to do with it. Well, listen to this: I walked in the bank one day because Miss Mitchell put an insurance policy, accident insurance policy, on my mother. She, oh, Mitchell put an insurance policy yeah, against your mother's death. Yeah. I walked in the bank, and they asked me, I remember very clearly, had my mother had an accident because somebody else she had one on, but this is just here to say, he had deceased. He oh, had that's the man she, that, that, with the missing check, with the stolen check? I don't know. So. <laughs> but the bank asked me that. Had my mother deceased. She, oh, she had an accident? That's what you mean, an accident. Oh, so Mitchell... Put a li uh, uh, accidental life insurance policy on your mother, and the bank is, uh, uh, was told that your mother was deceased, and somebody trying to collect that money. No, when I went in there, they asked me that. You see right here? Okay. This is where I had to go and try to get her utility bill paid. Okay. It's right there, six hundred dollars. She'd have been able to keep up with her bills. She don't have change, right? Change your clothes? No, nothing right now. And you and your family have been the only ones that have been charged so, with so, taking care of sole so support of, my of your mother. Three hundred and twelve or twenty some dollars. That's her husband's benefit. Now in the morning I'm gonna get up and try to go to Social Security board and see what I can do there. It's hard trying to feed her and everything else. It's very hard. I wish somebody would help me. Well, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna make sure that. 
I take this to the Supreme Court judge because I'm filing an Article 76 motion in Supreme Court. Hopefully, they can subpoena Chino Hernandez, Douglas Apple, Judith Abruzzo, the Inspector General, and Ricardo Antonio Morales, who's the head of legal. All of them know this because I bug them. I call up their phone, leave messages. Nobody calls me back. I've been complaining for two years about your mother. I, we just met not too long ago. Another thing, anything they can put against her now to put her out, they're doing it. I got receipts where her rent was paid. Yes. They put us in court last month. Right, I remember. I saw you going to court. And all like that. Anything they can get against her. I don't understand. What's the man's name, Mr. Perry or Clark or whatever? Yeah, Clark, the tall, light-skinned guy. The only way I got him off my back, I had to bring my husband in here. I had to go get uh, papers and make copies of it. I had a place to stay because he said I was staying here with my mother. Exactly what he... Okay. Clark has been... <laughs> I, I don't want to get... The other day on the elevator. Yeah, remember when I saw you, remember what I said? Elevator, don't like let him sucker you into signing a whole bunch of papers and getting you to do things in order to help evict yes, your mother yes. out of here. Because yeah. I don't know. See, uh, yeah, there you go. You hear that, Judge? I don't know. Glenn Clark has been trying to scare other people here. That's been NYCHA's modus operandi of trying to scare black people out of this apart, out of this building, in order, I don't know for what. Listen, I had to get a paper for my 13-year-old son, my, believe it or not, grandbaby. He wasn't even a year old. Wait, and my daughter was pregnant with one, and the other one wasn't even a year old, and myself, without an address, with something had been mailed to us recently, uh 